supplemented to the whole project and the series, so the new episodes, I'm going to be in them. <laughs> Can you kind of give us a little sample or tell us a little bit something about what you're going to be doing, something about your character? Actually, I don't. I don't know if I can talk about the character, and I it, purposely they didn't give me that much information, but I know I'm going to be evil, and that's great because it's going to be a challenge of a character for me. I've always been the goody tissue, the sexy, whatever the case may be, or the hero. This time I get to be evil, and I like that. I kind of discovered my dark side last Halloween, so I can't wait to be dark. <laughs> okay, so my question is, you said you like to act, you like dark roles. What was your other roles where you say you played the goody tissue? Um... Well, basically, uh, I have a series called Chocolate Milk Series on YouTube. So that, I was playing myself, but I was like the control, the hero, the good one. Um, and then also, I play a hero on uh, Infinity. I was uh, Nyla. And then all the other roles have been just like the, the pool party girl, the pool competition, the bikini girl, the sexy girl, <laughs> all sex. <laughs> So this time I'm excited to be something else but that. <laughs> okay, now, well, are you one of the Playboy girls? I was Playman of the Year 2013, yes. <laughs> so I'm trying to be evil now so I can be cast as other stuff and not be stuck in the bikini. <laughs> okay, great. Can you give me your social media? Absolutely. You can find me all across the board at R. Pomplin. If you had to describe working on this film, what do you think it's going to be like working on this film? Tell me. You know what? From... Just the first episode that I, I got to watch, well, everybody watched the first episode. Um, I think it's going to be really epic. You can tell that there's a lot of professionalism. There's good talent in, in, in uh, cinematography and editing and sound. You can tell it's quality work. And the actors, the actors are top notch. I mean, they're not, they might not be known, but they, they're really good. They have the talent. So I think it's going to be an amazing experience, and it's going to be a, a growing experience. Um, and I just can't wait, to be honest. I think it's going to be interesting. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Project Child was an amazing experience. Um, working with Rob and Dieter, for some reason, him, his mind and mine just mesh perfectly, and we were able to create art without having any communication issues. We like, communicated perfectly, we wanted the same things. It was a beautiful relationship, and it created some beautiful work. Okay, so I hear something about you did some choreography. Yes, actually, um, so we do some stunt choreography uh, for this. We are actually gearing up for the Project Child Origins web series. Uh, we are doing several different types of fights. We're doing some more military badass fights with like a dagger and sword, and then we're doing some fist fights. We're doing all sorts of different things. So my background is in medieval weaponry. So we have a couple duels, including a three-way duel, which is going to be in our season finale, which that's all I want to touch on. But there's some amazing fight choreography that goes into that, and my, my background... Uh, is, like I said, is in medieval weaponry, so I was able to put together something pretty fun. Great. Okay, can you give me your social media? Yes, absolutely. Uh, what is Project Child is our hashtag that we use for everything. Project Child Origins is our Facebook and our Instagram, and projectchildmovie.com is our uh, website. Great, thank you very much. Okay, uh, I'm in uh, Project Child Initiations. That's the short film that was made before we're launching the series. Uh, the role that I play is um, Night Agent Diane. I'm basically a part of the directorate, um, a co-worker with Derek, who's the lead in the film. I'm basically in charge of running what happens with the missions and stuff. So um, you kind of see me in the film sort of initiating things, saying, don't go here, don't go there. That, that's sort of kind of like a top agent type deal. Can I have you ever done any other films before? Sure, yeah. I was actually just completing a movie called Girl Games. Uh, this is going to be coming out later this week where I was a supporting lead. Uh, it's a great movie. It's a SAG movie, so it should be coming out shortly. Hey, okay, can you give me your social media? Uh, yeah, it's Lexi underscore Hammonds. On Instagram, you mean? Okay, uh, I mean, you can go to my website, LexiHammonds.com. There's more information on there as well. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, have a great evening. I'm the producer, but I'm also going to cover production design. Okay, and what was it like actually working in that area for the film? It, uh, it was a little bit challenging, but when you work with uh, some really great, talented people, it just kind of falls into place. It was a lot of fun, good time, good people, quality product. What more could you want? Okay, and uh, tell me, what, are we, what should we expect from this film? I think it's, it's going to really hold true to the anime um, storylines and the things that make anime so special that attracts people. 
And um, I think it's also going to have a lot of excitement, a lot of great scenes, a lot of, um, you know, compelling stories, compelling scenes, and um, you'll never know what comes next. Okay, for what I would like to you do now, give me your social media. Jessica Bowling Bryant. On Facebook, yeah. On Facebook. Not much of a social media girl. Robin Dieter had this idea many years ago while he was orphaned, a Korean, a Korean child who was orphaned. In that time, he saw good and evil in people. Being in the streets, it was a big exposure for him to have people throw things at him and say, get out of here like a stray cat. In that time, he thought people were going to kill him. He saw demons coming to get him. And one day, a woman drives up, sees him, takes him from the street, takes him to the orphanage, adopts him, brings him to America. It's a very deep and personal story. And I began to listen to his idea many years ago about what this film was. And I thought, Robin, you really have something here. Your own personal story attached to this is, a, is an absolutely fantastic thing. You should, we should look into it. So we started flushing out his ideas, his ideas. I began to help him with that. And I said, we should film this. We put together a crew. A lot of these people that are coming in and out today are fantastic artists. And they work, because I love the story, they work very diligently to create a series. One book turns to two, turns to three. And now we, here we are at Origins, a new series. A little snippet into the whole breadth and life of Project Child. It's been an amazing journey. I've been very pleased to be working with Robin. He's a very creative and exciting person. He's Asian, so he's humble. It's hard to get emotion out of him. But if you watch the films, you'll see a lot of emotion. It's a very Asian theme, a lot of personal introspection, and then explosions of power to try to find yourself and your way in a world that's cruel. Then again, there's also angels in this world. So there's a lot of deep personal conflict that all comes out. It's a real heart-wrenching and exciting motion to watch these films. You will get a lot of action out of it. <laughs> okay, so you're a playmate. Yes, I was in Playboy. That's like my claim to fame and how I originally ended up in the United States. And what year were you there? Oh, it was so long ago. That's going to be such a spoiler for all of the guys. They'll be like, what? She was January 2001. That's when I was in grade school. So <laughs> it's okay. Even if you were in grade school, I'm still here. I'm still hot. Age is nothing for a woman. <laughs> okay, so were you in the film? Um, I'm not in the current uh, film that's going to be screened, but I was cast as Senna for the rest of the web series. Okay, so tell me, what are you expecting tonight with this film? I'm very excited to see the director's work because I actually never worked with him before. I worked with Damien before on other projects and it was a lot of fun. So we kind of have, you know, a little relationship. Um, I want to see it. I want to reinforce my decision that I'm attached to this pro project and kind of get an overall feel for it because I think it's kind of a groundbreaking idea to connect, you know, Japanese comic books with, you know, sci-fi and today's cinematography. So it's, I think it's going to be very different. I'm oh. to see it. Okay. okay, can we have your social media? As long as it's not my social security, yes. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, all Coachella um, database was stolen. I started getting those weird phone calls, but it's okay. I can give you my Facebook and my Instagram. I can give you my home address. It's Irina Vornina fan page on Facebook. Irina Vornina on Instagram. I'm also on a live streaming app called Busker, where I host two shows. And um, everywhere else, it's just Irina Vornina. If you know how to spell it, you'll find me. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Nice meeting you. Thank you.